let me show you what I've got going on. I have been using my little travel, let me grab it, my travel case of pastels because they're all broken. Just had a really nice um, size for me. There's my beautiful mess of pastels. They're kind of all over the place because last night I went out and sketched at a local park. But I keep pulling this out because the other ones I had not broken yet. So I decided I needed to get like a at home, easy to grab kind of thing. Now I knew I had a platter, a wooden platter that seemed like it was gonna be the perfect size. I tore the house apart and it was funny. I was in here filming for an Instagram story or reel, I can't remember. And I'm filming and I was like, there's the, this is what I was looking for right here. It's here all along. I mean, I tore the house apart, but it's being occupied by the inks. So I think I'm just gonna leave that because it's nice because it's really the perfect size and they don't fall over. So I think I'm gonna do that. So then I found this plate that I got, I think maybe at Target and it's light pink. It's a really beautiful pink and I thought that I would love it for still life, but I don't. So I did want something lightweight. I found a nice like ceramic tray that I have, but it's heavy. And this is pretty lightweight. So I thought, well, this will be a good size. So I went ahead and broke all my pastels, especially my jumbo ones from Jean Oliver. You can see like how big they still are. Even after I break them, I still have a ton. Like these things are not cheap, but I'm telling you, they're gonna last a lifetime because they are so stinking big. There's like 10 or 15 regular size pastels, I feel like, in those. So I decided for my like base, I would use rice because I've heard that's a good way to clean them, like kind of shake them around in a box with rice. And I thought, well, that would kind of catch the dust, kind of clean them each time. But I wanted to show you guys because this will net ever look like this again, ever. And it just looks really pretty. So I kind of did it in like little families, kind of like my whites, my yellows, and just kind of moved around this way to greens, blues, and grays, and purples. Okay, I just got back from the post office and I just received the cutest package Ever. In fact, the postal lady said she's never had such a cute package come through. She said this one's the award and she's been there for a long time. Let me just show it to you. All her writing and stuff was cute, but I had to cover it up for, you know, safety purposes. But look how cute that she drew. <laughs> so cute. Let's open this. And I'm going to do this off camera because I make a lot of you guys nervous with the blade. I just opened it and made myself even a little nervous with that one. Michelle packaged this even better than, I mean, we packaged stuff like Fort Knox, like serious, but this was serious. Okay, I haven't opened it. Let's do this together. I think she has painted the package, the actual box. Oh my gosh, I'll definitely be reusing that. This is the second gift that I've gotten where someone's painted. The box. I feel like Grady. I'm gonna call Grady. Hey Grady. Yeah. Are you on the phone? No. Are you clothed? Open this gift. First off, I just opened the box and love Yeah, this she box was amazing. It. She painted that. It's really amazing. Whoa, you're like clothes. <laughs> okay, it's all taped up. I'm gonna very, very, very gently do this because I'm gonna reuse the box. What? I'm not gonna cut me. No, you should have seen what I just did. This was, this, this is it's nothing. It's way scarier in person, y'all. This was nothing. Alrighty. Now this is feeling like surgical skills right here. Oh, go oh. away from your thumb. <laughs> okay. Go away from your thumb. No, I need to go like that. No, you don't. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Oh, wow. Even oh, the inside. She made the That's inside. So, cool. <laughs> so Michelle. Maybe you like that artist that painted everything in her house. Maybe. What was her name? I'm pretty sure Michelle came to my workshop and this is feeling very like vibey of that. Like, you've not ever done this to me. It's fun. So much stuff. I mean, wow. there's part of me that wants to do overhead for you guys so you can see it, but then I just think it's really fun also for the person that. Wow. There's all kinds of stuff in here. <gasps> okay. You found some of my crappy brushes. My crappy brushes. Maybe I shouldn't say crappy. I just found some of these on Etsy. I don't know if it's this exact brand, but this is what I like. I'm so glad you like cheap brushes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty cheap, aren't I? Okay. 
Those will get used. Today. Oh no, yeah, it even no, feels no. like that's going to fall off. <laughs> I love it. It's safe to just glue it back. Okay, here's something. This was at the bottom, but everything else is wrapped up like this. I'm going to open this first. There's a lot in here. It's like Christmas. Does it feel like Christmas to you? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, so cool. Did I push record? Okay. Always get <laughs> That's been like my thing lately. Did I push record? Look at this. Handmade collaged card. Oh, that's got some weight. It's really like nice. hefty. And she painted, I can tell all that. Um, mm. That. Whoa. Okay, that's I'm going to have to read this letter later because it's a honking. Those who have bought those. Oh my gosh, there's so much cute stuff. Huh. Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. We'll start that's with this great. little one. Aaron L. Ellerker. Ellerker. If that's another reason I need Grady here, is to help me say that. Sound it out. <sighs> Putting those on immediately. So cute. So cute. Very texture. Did you feel them? I did not. I met Grady every time. That's a no. Okay, wait. I'll feel the next thing. Let me tell this story. I feel like sometimes it comes across a little perverse, but it's not. It's just the way I say it sounds a little. <laughs> well, maybe. maybe you, <laughs> so I you. love touching things. Probably some of you are like that too. When I go into a store, I mean everything, and Grady will come over here and be like, do you want to touch this? Because this is like the only thing in the store you didn't touch. <laughs> and the other thing, I'm always like, oh my gosh, feel this. I'm always going to his office too and be like, feel this. Years ago, he established a new rule because he could care less about touching things. He's not a touchy person. He established a new rule of you only get three touches <laughs> in the store. In I mean, the store. Went around. <laughs> this is a PG rated show. Well, I mean, that's what anyways, we're talking about. I know. Anyway, so. I recently had a really fun but messy painting session on location at a lake with my niece. We had a ton of fun, but our supplies or my supplies got quite dirty. My pastels and my neo colors, and then also everything is like not in order anywhere. We were just in frantic, crazy mode of painting. Supplies were flying everywhere. So I thought I would try to get everything back organized and cleaned up some. So what I want to do first is clean my pastels. They say that you can just put them like in rice and I'm going to fill this up with rice. I've got some white rice and some basmati rice. I'm guessing it doesn't matter what kind of rice you use. So I don't think it matters what kind of rice. So we're just going to put whatever. I'm going to shake everything around, see how that does. And then my ink tints blocks and neo colors will maybe try to use baby wipes. I may try the rice thing too, I'm not sure. But I thought you guys may want to enjoy doing this with me. I don't know how much rice I need, so maybe we'll just start with this and give that a try. I think I'm gonna put just kind of like colors in here. So I'm gonna put my light ones and give everybody a little bit of a shake and a toss. Maybe what I'm gonna do is add some more rice. Oh, all right, first rice spillage. Oh well. Okay, let's just get these a little toss. That rice smells good. It's like toasty. I didn't do any research on this. I don't know how long to toss this. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I could have taken time to research, but that's not really me. Also don't want to like break my pastels into, oh look, they came to the top. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I didn't need that much rice. Maybe I can just go like this. I wonder if that would work. Maybe I just filled this way too much rice because now it's going to feel like buried treasure trying to find all my rice. Yeah, maybe I can just go like this. Maybe. but I had all of my pastels on this tray, this ceramic tray from my granny, and even just the dust is so pretty. Like, I don't really wanna clean it. I'm going to, I think I'm actually gonna save some of these bigger bits, because <laughs> that's what I do. 
just been enjoying the dust. Then I packaged up all the rest of mine in like little safekeeping boxes. I tried to keep my unison all together in this box that they came in, in the order that they came in. So that way, when I pull the last little bit out, I'll know what color to reorder. That was my thinking. The rest of all of this though, I mean, y'all, I have not done good about like doing color charts or anything with these. So I don't know. I may really regret that in the future. I'm quite sure I'm going to regret that in the future, to be honest. Anyways, I wanted to show you this before I cleaned it all up and put it all away. If you want to know more or see more about the Jean Oliver pastels or even the Unison, I unbox all of those. I've got some unboxing videos and share color swatches and stuff like that. So I'll link that video here someplace. Okay, but this is what my eyeballs okay. went to immediately. That's so cool. <gasps> I love Just gloves. And this color, mustard is my color. It doesn't, I don't think even really look good on me, but I have so much stuff in mustard. You want me to try them? No, because you'll stretch them. <gasps> you will have stretch them. They're so soft. Oh, they're so soft. Here, just touch. Oh, your beard. Watch it here. Touch. They are soft. They're soft, y'all. She's not exaggerating. God, I wish, oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Wow. They're great. Are you kidding me? Well, it's your new favorites. I feel like the camera footage doesn't look good. I'm gonna undo Those are really nice. Hold on, I gotta redo this because I feel like it doesn't look good. Okay, does this look better? I don't know if it does. <laughs> Back to drying on the gloves. These are super really nice. warm and I wish it was cold right now so I could try these. Wear these. I'm going to be wearing these everywhere. We'll go somewhere cold. I'm for that. I'm already like getting hot just putting these on. They're so soft. Do not put your hand in this because you will stretch them. Come oh on. and look I can go like that too if I'm real cold. You have <laughs> a coat on. And six other layers. That is special. This is where they're from. These were not cheap. I can tell you that right now. I am and recycled. recycled. Nice. Sherpa lining. I'm usually the Sherpa. Debit record. Sherpa. 100% recycled polyester from plastic bottles. That's cool. They're really, really My nice. favorite color in the whole world. Oh my gosh. Uh, Keep those digits warm. Too bad it's not too cold. Okay. About and the then, items. About the items. Framed. Wait, wait, wait. What? Framed in. Lino print. Oh yeah, I didn't open a gift. Hello, this is like the biggest thing. Oh, wow. Can you tell what it is? Oh, this is gonna make me cry. Mm -hmm. sure this is. Oh, that's it's so good. Cooper. Well, yeah, it's Cooper. Your buddy. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, he's still alive. Yeah. If he was dead right now, I'd be like, bah! So the day oh that he dies, she'll pick gosh. this up. Gosh, I'm gonna put this in here in the studio because he's basically wow. like a studio dog. That's amazing. It's that is stunning. So cute. The likeness. Right, there's something else right here. <gasps> oh, they painted me something. Okay, let me read wow. this. Wow. Cute card. Another. It's like a devil card. Framed lino print. I was inspired by a sweet, funny studio dog. But I'm no printmaker. I have copies if you like it, but I'll totally understand if you don't. So she did that print. Yeah. Oh, that's so special. Painting. Inspired by my delightful experience painting along with you during our workshop. I knew you did the workshop. Oh, it's so good. Let me show that really quick because it's really good. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, the pattern. Texture. Yeah. Ooh. It's really good. Okay, and on the back, you wrote something too. You wrote the date. Sandy had the best time in the online workshop. So grateful to have had the opportunity to participate. This is inspired by the paintings we worked on. Keep doing what is within your capacity. You are incredibly gifted. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I find that. a special place for that too. Earrings from Erin. El Elriker. These are called Sunday Brunch. That is so cute. I love when things have a good name. You might notice that the packaging looks familiar. I repurposed the tissue and plastic wrap from the painting you sent me. There you go. That's special. It's been on quite the journey. I might have to buy another painting soon to get it back though. 
That's a good idea. <laughs> My manager awesome. says yes to that too. That is so, I should so have recognized good. that, but I'm a little, sometimes I'm very observant of things. I'm not, but man, this was it's special amazing. from the post office all the way to opening and I'm going to enjoy all of that yeah. so much. I like this mat that you did around this too, mm -hmm. like dark green. I don't know what it is, but it looks handmade. It looks like it's painted, doesn't it? It does. This feels like three Christmases put together. It's amazing, Michelle. Thank you. Really sweet. So, so, so sweet. <laughs> you can go turn well, the air yeah. conditioner on so I can Sandy. wear these a little. <laughs> oh boy. She's losing it. Oh, thanks for joining me, babe. That was yeah. fun. Thank you, Michelle. This was so fun. I'm going to go message you right now because this was amazing. Thank you. I should push them back to the bottom. Not really one with things like this to kind of research. I just knew that this was something I could do and then I'm just gonna do it. I don't know why they keep coming to the top though. Get down there and get clean little rice. I mean, little pastels. This doesn't really feel like it's working. I almost would rather just wipe them off. I'm gonna grab a paper towel. It almost feels like, it'd be, yeah, why are we not just doing that? That seems a lot better. It's a lot quicker. I mean, maybe it's better because I just did all the shaking. I wonder if I should clean this too, though. What to do? The wiping feels much more effective. It will be nice to be able to see the colors now, though. I think I like the wiping method better. Ooh, so pretty and fresh. Okay, I'm going to continue along with this. I'm going to try my... Whoa, dust is flying everywhere. Maybe that's why people do it in the rice. I don't need them like spick and span. I just would like to be able to tell what color they are. Yeah, maybe the rice keeps the dust from just going everywhere. Maybe I just need to do this. I mean, it's not bad. That's semi-clean, but it does get cleaner if you do this. This week has been such a roller coaster. I'm not going to get into all the details, but it has been quite exhausting and I've been working my tail off. Feels like I have not stopped working my tail off for months now. And today just opened up to be able to go out today with my niece to go paint at the lake and it was so needed. I took filming equipment to film and before I got out of the car, I just thought, no, I just really need to be present and want to spend the time with her. I did take a couple clips with my phone for like Instagram and I'll put it here too. We had such a great time. She's had a terrible year, like art year. She's had a really strict art teacher who is all about I don't know, she just hasn't enjoyed it at all, which really stinks. I was like, I wanna to try to make up for the whole year today. And we just had an amazing time. Five minutes into us painting, I mean, her legs were covered in paint, you know, 30 minutes in. I mean, it was just everywhere. I was like, we're gonna have to hose you off. I don't even know if you can get in the car. You're so, she was just a hot mess, but we had so much fun. It was kind of busy, like the mowers were there. In fact, if you're like, if you think I look a little funny, it may be because my eyes, literally my eyes and my nose and my lungs feel like they have particles lodged in them. And the blowers, like we had to move three times. They were like, we need to blow right here. And then they would like blow it all out of, anyways, it was, I was like, welcome to a uh, plein air adventurous painting. I was telling my niece that. You just never know what you're gonna expect. And we also had a guy come down there in the, with a guitar and play and it was really good. At one point we started clapping, but then he came over and talked and talked and talked to us. And I was like, hey, we're trying to do art here. In fact, we were in the middle of doing this timed collab piece that we decided to do. We set a timer for five minutes. I would work for five minutes and she would work for five minutes. We did that back and forth and it was really fun. It turned out really good. I don't have great video footage of it, of all the, the work because two of my paintings I sent with her, this one of the duck and then our collab piece I let her keep. But she just had fun. She's like me, man. She just got in there. I took all my stuff, Neocolor 2s, ink tints, my soft pastels, all of it. And she just used it all too. In fact, there were a couple times I was cringing a little bit because I was like, whoa, you're using a lot of that expensive soft pastel. But 
I want her to have fun with it and want to see what things, you know, give her the opportunity to see what things she loves. But man, it was just memory making. It was so fun. I'm gonna be sick as a dog for a few days because of my allergies, because of how bad that was. Oh, but it was worth it, worth it physically and mentally. Man, I just needed that. I needed just a good get outdoors, smush paint around. And it was just super, super fun. Well deserved, it feels like I worked for it. But when we were leaving, I was like, did I win you over to plein air painting? And she was like, yes. So I think we're gonna be doing way more of it this summer if the heat doesn't get to us too much. Hopefully we can get in a lot before the heat comes if I can stop working <laughs> so much too. Just wanted to kind of document and tell you guys. And hopefully if we're painting some more together, excuse me, in the future, I'll, I'll uh, do some filming or I'll make Grady go along and do some filming for us so we can paint and somebody else can film. Uh, oh, such a good day. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so here's what I found out. My really, really soft pastels, like my Jean Oliver pastels, and then I can't remember what this one is, but I've got a couple that are supersonic soft. And I did find that putting them in here just kind of one by one and just really manipulating them in the rice cleaned them enough. I think if I didn't have paint and other things on these pastels, they would really clean up quite easily. But I just kind of did like this, really, you know, went after it. I think I got most of it off. Yeah, that, that was helpful. But just putting them all in and tossing, that didn't work for me. I do have enough rice now on my desk and floor to probably feed a small family. So we need to get the vacuum out. I'm also trying to decide what to do about, do I really want to take the time to clean these well? I mean, I did wipe them. I could also put some rice in there, but I feel like that's going to make just a mess because when I'm outside, it's just, you know, the wind's blowing and stuff. So I think I'm just going to put them back in there because this is supposed to be my messy zone. Man, I never could find this white because it was always so dirty. It's gonna be really nice to have some clean colors. I'm pretty excited about that. I can literally tell what the colors are now. Hot diggity. I'm gonna put everybody back in here in their little space, kind of color coded like my whites and then yellows and stuff. And then I'll be ready to go. I'm glad I did this. Everything looks fresh. I literally feel like I got brand new pastels now. Let's just see if wiping these ink tense blocks off. I don't really need these too clean. I'm not sure I wanna mess with these. These are all pretty fine. I mean, look y'all, there's so much paint and stuff on these, which doesn't really wipe off. Oh yeah, it does. If I can tell what color it is, I'm fine with it. Do, however, feel like these may need to be slightly clean. These are my Neo Color 2. I wonder if I could just, well, let's try the rice toss. Let's try that out, because that may work too. Or I may be just dirtying them even more with all this pastel dust that's in here. Yes, I think that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, let me give the baby wipe just a little spritzy spritzy reawaken it. I have a feeling this is going to work well. Yeah, that's getting some of the dirt off. Now, again, I don't need these to be pristine because I just basically need to be able to tell what color it is. I'm sure when I dropped that in there, many of y'all were like, no. Okay, I finished. I did decide to not clean these because uh, I'm kind of fine with them being dirty. I like that they transfer some color a little bit. So I just reorganized everything. And the same with my ink tense blocks. I got tickled though, because I could tell which ones my niece was using a lot. Not only because they were like worn down, but just, I mean, things were just everywhere. I'm pretty good about like putting things back in the spot. And that's not anything negative to my niece. It's just that I know the piano chords like I know where things are and I'm the one that has organized them so it's easy for me to put things back I think they look so pretty now makes me want to go outside immediately and then look what I have one whole empty spot which is perfect because I have some more soft pastels coming I also want to buy one more of these because there was only one left at the store why in the world I did not buy all that they had I have no idea but I have one thing to take back to that store which was Bass Pro and so I'm going to take it back and hope that there's one left because I have a feeling I'm going to need another one of these
while I have y'all here, I thought I would show you something else that I did recently that was really fun. I finished up a big tub of oatmeal and it just feels like a waste to throw such a good container away. It had a nice top and all that. So I brought it to the studio. The other night I finished two really long, long days of computer work, wrapping up the class that I recently launched. And I ended both days with just a headache from just intense working. And I wanted to paint, but I was just like, brain dead. So I grabbed my oatmeal bottle and painted. <laughs> oh, I just had so much fun like painting simple little animals. Well, I did two ducks and two horses. So cute. And it's a weird size because it's like too small for holding brushes or something like that and too big. Here comes Cooper. Hey, bud. All right, hold on. Hey boy. Oh, you came late to the party. Better late than never, huh? Oh, you got all the way. I just want to get kisses and say hi. Oh, God, that little towel just to go. Oh, this is just to go in. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Happy boy. Okay. Anyways, what was I saying? Basically, this is too big for most things, but I thought, well, I'll just put it on my desk for like a desk trash can until I think of something else. Cause I think brushes, yeah, it's gonna be too big for brushes. Oh, well, maybe not. My big brushes, whoa, maybe. That would make a cute brush holder. Okay, maybe rethinking the plan. Grady came home from a late back bike ride. That's when I painted this and I was like, look what I did. He was like, <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm just yapping. Uh, I'm gonna go eat lunch now. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day, all the things.